Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, hope you're doing good. So today's video is going to be a testing clothing video. So some of you guys know that recently I've been a little bit fluffier, a little bit rounder. So I'm actually eight months pregnant if you are new to my channel. Welcome, how are you doing? Maternity clothes are ridiculously expensive and also really, really hard to find. Most of the time for maternity wear I've had to shop online and then when it's come and I've not been 100% happy with it, you have to return it and some places isn't free returns. So it's just been a little bit of a ball ache really. And where I live there is literally hardly any decent maternity shops. So we have two new looks, only one of them sells a maternity range um, and that is the furthest one away from me. It's not far but you know what I mean. The second shop is H&M and they just have like a really poor selection of maternity clothes and also in H&M I find that their clothing is really really bizarre especially in the maternity department like in one pair of jeans I tried a 14 on and then in the other pair a 12 was like more like an 18 like their maternity range I just find like it is really really bizarre so today guys I figured I would be testing out whether maternity clothes are a sham, whether they are there just to make you spend that little bit of extra pennies. But also I'm going on holiday soon and obviously I've only got like three, four weeks left until baby girl is here. So I didn't particularly want to buy maternity clothes that I'm not going to wear again. So today guys we are trying on Primark clothing. I've generally just like gone one or two sizes up and we're basically going to see if it works being pregnant, if it doesn't work being pregnant. Before we get into it, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, guys, because you know what it means. You know. And also, I'm massively pregnant. I need the support, guys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get in with this video. The first thing we're going to be trying on is some muslin squares. No, I did actually pick a few things up for baby as well, so muslin. The first thing was £10, and this didn't have a label. I just went two sizes up in this, and basically it is a green floral wraparound dress with some little sleeves. It is just like a flowy dress, and then it has like these wraparound ties at the side. And it also has a button here to do up. For £10, let's see if this is a maternity fail or wear. Okay, this is the first dress. First of all, it is ridiculously short. Um, you can't even see it. Secondly, it looks really cute on the bump, but what the hell is this this bit doing? Like yeah, I want to breastfeed, but not the world. The pattern is stunning and the sleeves are lovely. I feel really really comfortable in it. This button just about does up and this is a size 16. Um, it looks really pretty on the belly. Can you see how short that is? I just don't understand why we are feeling the need to have the JJ and breasts out. The next one is just this tube sort of midi dress and it's this really nice like orange, black and white. Oh, go away Van. High neck midi dress. Um, It's got like this lettuce sort of, is it called lettuce? <laughs> this like little frilly sleeve and then it is just quite flowy at the bottom with the same sort of frill at the bottom um this was only six pound so this is going to be one of these dresses that i feel is either going to be way too short or way too tight and i don't mind tight dresses being like so pregnant because you don't have to suck in but after pregnancy will the mum tum be on show a little too much okay i actually really really like this one because i sized up it's a little bit baggy here but I'm not mad at it. Um, I don't understand why it's making me look like I have like a triple F boob though, and a pea head. <laughs> okay. Why does my boob look bigger than my head? Um, the dress itself is a really, really nice material. It's really, really lovely and soft. Um, it's on the brink of being too short. Like imagine the edge. I'm just dangling, just dangling. It is just ever so slightly on the brink of being a little too short, but this is the bump in it. The next dress again is very similar to the first one. This is a wraparound dress and I went three sizes up in this one for some reason, but only two in the other one. I figured I'd just try a few different sizes on and hope for the best. This is just a blue wraparound dress. It's got the same little 
frilly sleeves and it's got like just this these flower prints on and then again it goes into like a flowy skirt it's got a tie and it does up with a little button so hopefully if one size doesn't fit the other one will obviously these aren't designed to have a big bump okay this is the next dress and again it's that wrap around one obviously i did two sizes up in this one it's just far too big but this must be a design flaw in these dresses because there's just so much excess material here and this one isn't as short so it definitely fits a little bit better it's a little bit more comfy around my bump but there is just ridiculous amount of fabric here like whose boobs stick out this much this is just 10 pound exposure no it's a no if you don't use any of the buttons and you literally just wrap it around then it doesn't look that bad the only thing is then you've only got this tiny little spaghetti belt holding this dress together and you could just blow open at any stage okay so i really really wanted one of these i saw this on boohoo i think it's basically just like a culotte is it culotte is that what they're called culotte jumpsuit now they did a maternity one on boohoo and they did have my size and i really really wanted one so i've gone two sizes up in primark uh, it's just a red culotte jumpsuit this was 10 pound um it is obviously short and it's got this like ribbed detail in it it's bright red also it's got adjustable straps which i really really liked we shall see this one feels great it's lovely and soft it's nice and airy and stretchy i can move but dj camel toe he is in the building <laughs> which is such a shame because i actually really like it and this area isn't actually that bad i think even if you weren't pregnant the belt would just sit like see what i mean like i'd want it to sit like here and it kind of just sits in the middle um it's really really comfortable though the color's nice they did this in a couple of different colors i think it's really stretchy really comfortable i don't know about this one guys i feel like this region looks a little bit funky and so does the belt a little bit. I've been wearing a lot of just like tight, long, strappy, heartburn, tight, strappy, long vests. Um, and Primark did a lot of the long line vests, very similar to what I'm wearing now actually. This is maternity, obviously this one from Primark isn't. This was only £3.15, it's just this really nice blue and white striped vest. And I thought this would look nice with shorts or leggings or anything just to throw in with a pair of Converse. Um, I sized up just one size and it's lovely and stretchy so I think this is just going to be a win all around. The next thing I got was just a strappy sort of cami. I live in these anyway. None of mine actually fit me anymore because they're all like 12 or 14. And the boobs have grown dramatically. So it's just a strappy black vest. But I like that the back has this lovely little detail here. Um, I sized up in this. It's a little bit see-through. The ones I've got, one's from Topshop and one's from Asda, I think, and they're not see-through, but I think it'll be okay with a black bra. I just liked this little added detail here. I thought that was quite pretty. And if you walk without a card or anything, I just think it'd give like a nice effect. This was four pound. This is the black strappy vest. It's actually really, really comfortable. It's not a bad, bad size, really. I thought I'd look like a sausage shoved into a sausage skin in this, but actually it's super, super comfortable. It's just, just covering the belly, just. And if I was to like pull my top up, you, you can see button. The last thing I got for me is just this like little bardo top um, and it's quite short. It's got that lettuce 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 sort of hem again um and it's off the shoulder i don't particularly wear off the shoulder so much because i've got such big boobs generally strapless bras don't work and especially being pregnant strapless bras just sit on the bump and they don't work well but i figured if i wore a black bra it wouldn't be that bad this was only four pound and i sized up in this i actually got a 16 just to see if it would work we shall find out <laughs> This is just hideous. The pattern looks like it's just fallen out of a 70s film. Also, we have lower bump exposure. <laughs> I don't even look pregnant, I just look like a tank. Just quickly while we're here, I just figured I'd show you some of the other things that I bought. So I just bought another pack of the three muslin squares. Um, th these are just pink ones and the other ones were just grey and white. 
I got some little frilly socks, these are only £1.50 and they're just plain white, newborn. And then I got these super cute dresses, these were only £4.50, I thought that was such a bargain. So one's blue with just little cute flamingos on and then the other one is just plain pink. I figured with it being so hot and it's, she's going to be born when it's still relatively warm. I thought these were quite cute and such a bargain as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, it's definitely been interesting, to say the least. All in all, um, generally, I don't think where we went wrong was the sizing, because I think going up one or two sizes is perfectly fine. Obviously, in some dresses, it works fine. I think it was the style of the two dresses that just let us down, guys. Also, that vest, I know it fit, so I haven't tried that one on. Um, I think we had kind of like a semi... No, we didn't. I think we kind of have like a half and half situation going on here because I love, I just find Primark really hit and miss. Does anyone else? Like those two dresses, those wraparound dresses, if they didn't gape, if my areolas weren't on show to the world, those would have been such nice dresses. And also I find that the length is so bizarre in Primark. Like a dress is either a dress or a top, like there's no in between. You know what I mean? Anyhow, that's it for this video guys. Hope you really enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.